Bloomington, Minnesota, a classic matchup, pits the explosive Miami Dolphin offense against the Purple Gang Minnesota Viking defense. Minnesota's first possession, Fran Talker and fakes to Dave Osborne. He's under a heavy rush, but fires a long pass downfield. John Gilliam is behind everyone. He's got it on the 25, and no one's going to catch him. A 56-yard score gives the Vikings a 7-0 lead. But can the Purple Gang stop the Dolphin attack? Still in the first quarter, Bob Greasy drops straight back. He fires a short one to Larry Zonka. Zonka is wiped down on a crushing tackle by Roy Winston. Officials rule the play an incomplete pass, but the Viking defense is doing the job. In the first quarter, the Vikings three first downs to Miami two. The Vikings 80-yard passing to the Dolphins three. The Vikings rush for 19 yards to the Dolphins 39. All right, the Dolphins get a break. Now let's see if we can get six points on the board. And seven points. 8-16 left to go in this first half. Vikings lead 7-0. Dolphins get a break. Here is Daisy dropping the throw. He has time. He fires the end zone. It is intercepted by Bobby Bryant. He's out to the 5, 10, 15, and roll out of bounds on the far side of the 17-yard line. Late in the third period, number 32, Oscar Reed's 22-yard sweep sparked an 80-yard 13-play touchdown drive. In uh, through the third quarter, the Vikings 10 first down, Miami 7, 111 yards through the air for Minnesota. Only 32 yards passing for the Dolphins, 131 yards for the Vikings rushing the 97 for Miami. With fourth and a half yard to go, Bill Brown dove across, establishing the Vikings lead at 14 to 6. Mr. Morris grabs the kickoff, the one yard line, out across the 15 to the 20, breaks loose, down the near side, if he gets the block, he might go, he does not get the corner turn, he's run out of bounds here on the near side of the field at the 30 yard line, the 31. Morris grabbed that short kick, it was a low trajectory kick, uh, back at the one yard line, just as time was in, and he bounced off tacklers in a big pile up in the middle on the far side of the field, and then uh, came to the near side and did not get the block that he needed. Gracie now trails by eight points in the last period with 14-13 to go, 14-6. 12.58 to go, Vikings 14, Miami 6. Third and five, big play here, Mandich, the tight end, switch to the far side of the field. Briscoe and Warfield, now the other receivers, kick and drunk of the split back. Gracie drops the throw, deep, he fires, it is caught! Fly kick, he took it away from the defender, he's got the first down to the 50-yard line. A great catch by Jim Kick. First going to Warfield, split to the far side. This is the big play for the Dolphins, third and ten from the midfield strike. Greasy goes back to throw, he sets up, he fires, it is picked off by Winston, 35, 40, 45, 50, in the Dolphins' territory across the 45 at the 42-yard line. The Dolphin receiver was down on the ground, and left linebacker Roy Winston, the 11-year veteran from LSU, was had no body to molest them. He picked it off back at the 35 and runs it back to the Dolphins' 43-yard line is where they're going to put it down. Second down to nine. Vikings ball at the Dolphins' 42-yard line. Washington splits to the far side. Gilliam comes to the near side. Osborne and Reed, the split backs behind Tarkenton. On the snap, Francis... Prince out of his right, being pursued, and he is dropped for a big loss back into Viking territory as Nick Bonacani blitzed that time and came barreling in there and flattened him out back at the Vikings 48-yard line. Third down and long yardage, Vikings ball at their 48-yard line. Ten minutes, ten seconds left to go. The Vikings lead 14-6. to Trackington on the snap, drops the throw. He's getting a good rush again. Here's caught, and he eats the ball for another loss back at the 42-yard line. So that brings up a punting situation, and Eyeshide is in. The ball is back at the 42-yard line in Minnesota Territory. Eyeshide will stand back at the 25-yard line. Here's the snap. He gets the punt away. Low trajectory spiral. Charlie Lee backs up, grabs it to the Dolphins at the 10. Starts the far side, 15 to the 20. He is going to be contained at the 20-yard line. 
The time is running out for the Dolphins, trailing 14 to 6. The first down as we are 80 yards away from our 20 yard line. The Dolphins move from our right to our left. This has been a punishing physical football game. Third down and seven. Big play of the ball game right here for the Dolphins to keep this drive alive from our 23. Greasy dropping the throw. He's getting a rush. He fires the middle. Morris has got it. Shakes the tackler. Gets away for another one. And he gets back to the 29-yard line. He did not make enough for the first down. The ball is at the 29-yard line. It'll be a fourth down and one. And they're going to go for it. And our 29. We have to maintain possession of the football to have a chance in this ball game. Seven minutes, nine seconds left to play. Fourth and one. If we, if we don't make it, you know what happens. They've got the two tight ends in, Fleming and, uh, and Mandich. Morris and Zucker, here's the handoff. Mercury hits the middle. He squirts through. He's got the first down out to the 32-yard line. He just put his head down and uh, behind Zonka gets the first down to the 32. And the Dolphins with a third down and seven from our 35-yard line. 5.31 left to go. The big play again. Here is Greasy dropping the throw. He is firing. It is caught by the tight end Mandich. 45, and he hurdles the tackler up to the 48-yard line. For the first down, Mandich cutting across the middle. Got the ball wide open down the near side. And here we go with another third down situation. They were crucial early in the ball game when uh, the Dolphins were not able to convert them, and they have become even more crucial now with 5.17 left to play. The Vikings with a 14-6 lead. Dolphins third and 10 from our 49. Absolutely essential that the Dolphins maintain possession of the football right now. Briscoe slot left. Warfield split left. Morris and kick of the split box. Briscoe in motion to the right side. Greasy drops the throw. Swings the screen out. Morris has got a 45, 50, cut to his left. Flag down, 40. He's at the 35 down to the 31 yard line in Minnesota territory, but there is a flag at the Minnesota 49, and it's going to be called back. The Dolphins have hurt themselves with uh, penalties this afternoon. It's going to be called pass interference. Offensive pass interference on Larry Little. And so, instead of a first down at the Vikings 30-yard line, we have a third down and 25 back at our 34. The timer's running out for the Dolphins, trailing 14 to 6, 5.07 left to play. Third down and 25. The Dolphins have to get to the Vikings 41-yard line. Here is the end around with Disco carrying. Now he's going to set up to throw the ball. He fires. It is caught by Mandich to lose the tackler at the 45, and he did not make a first down to the 44-yard line. But we still have a, uh, a down remaining. Now here's what happened on the uh, supposed end around with Briscoe carrying from the far side. Briscoe wound up throwing a pass. You know, he used to be a quarterback and he hit Mandich. It is fourth down. The Dolphins have the ball at the Viking 44-yard line with 4.35 to go. And Yepremian is in to try a 51-yard field goal. Snap set down. The kick is up. It is perfect. And Garrow again, the big weapon for the Dolphins with 4.15 to go. Gets us on the board. It's 14-9. to nine. The Vikings out in front. Now the Dolphins went for the field goal there, figuring uh, with a fourth and three situation that there's time left to get their hands back on the football if the defense can hold this Vikings team waiting for the official's whistle. Here comes Garrow forward. He gets it high, gets it deep. Back underneath the crossbar is Jones, and he is, as he has done every time this afternoon, he downs it. Yepremian kicking has been outstanding. Minnesota has not been able to run the football back, and Garrow has converted on three out of four field goals. That last one being 51 yards, the longest, incidentally, that he has ever kicked in a regular league game. Four minutes, ten seconds to go as they start from our left to our right, back at their 20-yard line. Here is the handoff to Oscar Reed. He comes through the right side, gets a yard. Maybe two to the 21-yard line. Second down and nine. Second and hands off to Reed. He is thrown for a loss as the right side of the Dolphin defense was in on top of him and knocked him down back at the 19-yard line. They put the ball down back at the 18, so he loses three yards. It'll be third down and 12. Clock is moving with three minutes left to play in this ball game. The Vikings lead 14 to 9. On the snap, play action. He sprints out to his right. He sets up the fire. It is overthrown and tennis for Washington incomplete up at the 28-yard line. Tarkington was rushed that time and threw off balance. 
So the Dolphins will get the football back, and the punt situation here now becomes critical for Minnesota. With two minutes and 38 seconds showing on the board, the clock is stopped. Line of scrimmage, the Viking 18. Eyshide standing at the three. Here is the snap. Flag down. He gets off a low, wobbly kick. Bounces. At the Dolphin 45, Anderson grabs it and is down immediately at the 40-yard line. Or was there a flag? I thought I saw something drop back there, but uh, apparently not. A 41-yard kick by Eyshide. So the Dolphins are some 60 yards away with a first down at our 40-yard line. Two minutes, 27 seconds to go. Let's see if we can do it. Trailing 14 to 9. Mandich is the tight end. Warfield puts to the left side. Briscoe is a slot man left. Kick and Morris in the eye. Briscoe in motion off to the right side. Here is Greasy. The pitch to Mercury Morris. The sweep to the right. Behind kick. Gets the corner turn, and that's all. He has trapped. He has really scissored over there at the, at the 43 yard line. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute as we are back with the two minute warning now. The score Minnesota 14, the Dolphins 9. This is Rick Weaver along with Lou Freakber and Henry Barrow. Back at the uh, dramatically packed ball game between the Minnesota Vikings and our Dolphins. The, the Dolphins have not been able to score a touchdown. We have two minutes to go. Vikings lead 14 to 9. The Dolphins with a second down and seventh situation from our 43 yard line. The fans set up the howl for the defense to take over as they have done all afternoon. Briscoe slips right to the near side as Warfield. Kick in behind Greasy and Morris is a slot man to the right. Here's Greasy back to throw. He fires. It is dropped. Almost intercepted by Bobby Bryant. And when I say drop, he started to run with the football before he had it or he, he might have gone. He had an interception was intended for Warfield, but there's a flag down, and we're gonna get a penalty against the Vikings for roughing the passer. A personal foul for roughing the passer, and that is a first down, and gives the Dolphins a first down at the Vikings 41 yard line. Dolphins need a touchdown. We have not been able to get one this afternoon. Trailing by five points, 14 to nine, a minute 55 to go. First down at the Vikings 41, Briscoe right. Warfield to the near side. Here is the pitch to Mercury Morris. Sweep to the left. He's at the 40, 35, 30. Runs the ball out of bounds. Down at the 28-yard line. Morris carries for another Dolphin first down. Merck had carried seven times before that play in the ball game for just 15 yards. Howard Twilley comes in for the first time this afternoon. The wide receiver replacing Briscoe. The ball at the Vikings 28-yard line. One minute, 50 seconds to go. The Vikings lead 14 to 9. Can the Dolphins do it? against this amazing Minnesota defense. Reese brings him out. He splits fully to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Morris and kick to the split back. From the Vikings, 28. Reese fades to throw. He's going for Twilly. He's got it. He shakes the tackler and uh, stays inbounds for a couple of extra yards before going out down at the 20-yard line. Getting the ball out of bounds with 1.44 to go. Block uh, is stopped on the pass completion. The ball at the Vikings 20-yard line. Fans here becoming a little bit apprehensive now. 14 to 9. Vikings lead, but the Dolphins on the move. Twilly splits left. Warfield slot left. Morris and kick. The split backs in behind Greasy. Greasy rolls back to his left to throw. He's looking. He is looking. He fires. It is caught by Twilly. 10. Down to the 5. He's down to the 3 yard line. A great effort by the little guy from Tulsa. Howard Twilly. And that, of course, is good for a first down. Greasy had all the time in the world. To look for the open man, and he hit fully in the middle. He tried to get in, was caught at the about the seven-yard line, and got to the three before he was dropped. This this game has all kinds of possibilities. We, uh, as time will be back in in a moment. The Vikings leading 14 to nine. There's a minute and 32 seconds to play. The Dolphins have a first and goal at the Vikings three-yard line. We have not scored a touchdown. Should we score and go out in front uh, with the conversion at 16 to 14? Then the Vikings would have a chance because there would certainly be enough time left. This one uh, is a long way from being over, so stay right where you are. We have the ball, first and goal at the three-yard line. We see uh, during the timeout over discussing the situation with Shula. 14 to 9. Dolphins cannot use a field goal. They need a touchdown. The two tight ends are in. Mandich and Fleming. Morris and Zonka is back in the ball game. Greasy sets the ball club. On the snap, drops the throw. He fires the middle, wide open, touchdown is Jim Mandich. The Dolphins have scored 
They flared the receivers out on both sides. Morris going to this side. And Warfield on the far side. And Mandich just cut into the middle. Cut the football. That is his first touchdown pass of the year. And it could not have come at a bigger time. As the Dolphins, Greasy, hitting on the touchdown cross to tight end Jim Mandich, completes his third touchdown pass of the season. A three-yarder, a 60-yard drive in five plays. And it's now 15 to 14 as Gero Yepremian will try the point from placement. Morrow will hold. There's a minute and 28 seconds left to play in this ball game. Waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. The kick is up, and it's perfect. So the Dolphins have only a two-point lead, 16 to 14. Now, with a minute and 28 seconds to go, it is up to the defense to keep the Vikings out of field goal range. So he gets it out to the 19. And had they elected not to run it out, they would have gotten the ball at the 20. So Tarkenton is 81 yards away. With a minute and 23 seconds showing on the clock. And listen to this crowd. Here's Tarkenton. Dropping the throw. Gets the rush. Swings the screen out. Osborne back behind the line of scrimmage. Gets across the 20 into the 22. And that's all. The Vikings going into their two-minute offense. No huddle. 53 seconds. Clock moving. 52. They still have all their timeouts left. Miami has just two left. Second down, and about seven. Tarkin is scrambling, throwing a short screen out to the near side. Reed trying to get around Dick Anderson. He can't do it. Anderson drops him at the 30-yard line, but that might be enough for a first down. Right down to the wire, this one. And this a battle between two teams that could very well meet in the Super Bowl. The Vikings, when time is in with 37 seconds to go, will have a first down at their 30-yard line. Tarkin drops the throw, being rushed. He fires a screen in the middle. Brown's got it, 35. He takes the tackle. He is caught by Colin, and he's going to be driven to the ground at the 35-yard line. The ball is at the Viking 35. Tarkenton has his ball club back in the huddle. It's second down and five. 28 seconds left to go. This a real thriller. Here is Tarkenton back to throw. He fires down the near sideline. It is caught. Incomplete. Henderson caught the ball out of bounds. The official said no, he did not have both feet in bounds, and the fans, you hear the reaction in the background, because that would have been a big completion. John Henderson, veteran receiver, number 80, he caught the ball, but he was out of bounds. Third down and five. The incompletion stops the clock with 23 seconds to go. The ball at the Vikings' 35-yard line. Here is Sarkin and dropping the throw. He's got time. Now he's going to have to run with the ball. Scrambling, scrambling, scrambling. Big chase. He runs it out of bounds to stop the clock, but he uses up eight seconds. And he went out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Replacing Brown, the ball back at the 32 is where they put it down in Viking territory. Fourth down and eight is what they need for a first down. 15 seconds to go. The Dolphins lead 16 to 14. He drops the throw. Fourth down flag. Here's the swing pass. Osborne's got it at the 40 and runs it out of bounds. He's got the first down at the flag. The penalty is not against Minnesota. He runs it out of bounds at the 42. The clock has stopped with 10 seconds showing. As he got out of bounds, but there's a flag down back on the far side of the field. Illegal procedure is the call against Minnesota. And it'll be a fourth down and 12 for the Vikings. The ball back at uh, their 27-yard line. So there are 10 seconds uh, left to play in the ball game. We remarked in a commentary, or commentary on our 545 show on WIOD earlier this week that you may see the emergence of a new defensive uh, power this week. The Miami Dolphins talking and back to throw. He's going deep down the near side. He's got a man down here. Up they go. Who's got it? Down at the 30-yard line. Intercepted by the Dolphins. Let's see what the officials rule it. Intercepted, and the man who intercepted it is... Lloyd Mumford. Lloyd Mumford, and they put the ball down at the 31-yard line. So the pass intended for Washington. Lloyd Mumford, a couple of other Dolphins went up. We had to wait for a moment to see who was going to come down with it. The defensive man has as much right to the possession of the football as does the offensive man. And there is the end of the ball game. What a comeback for our Miami Dolphins. The final score, the Dolphins 16, the Vikings 14. A lot of people are talking about our defense, too, and I'm certainly proud of the way that they've played uh, going back to that Minnesota preseason game and then Kansas City, Houston, and then in the pressure-packed game against Minnesota where we could have completely folded in the ball game because certainly we weren't doing anything offensively to win the ball game. But the defense kept us in there by doing an exceptional job uh, uh, stopping the run and then also getting to Tarkington five times in the ball game. And you get to Tarkington five times in a season, you have to feel fortunate to do that because the guy is so quick and uh, elusive. 
but uh, we got to them. And uh, the other thing that we did, we did is uh, kept them from breaking the game open. What is the key to, to your defense? Obviously, uh, playing a much better this year than they had under the uh, two previous seasons with them. Well, we still have a long way to go. We're not ready to start uh, bragging or sticking out our chest. we got a long year ahead of us, and the test of a defense is over a period of time. But uh, they're certainly more experienced, and they've been playing the same system now for the past. This is going on the third year. The young people that were rookies uh, three years ago, and we had a lot of them are now uh, three-year veterans, and this has got to be one of the keys to any uh, defense uh, improving year in and year out. So I think all of these things are important. I think that uh, young Vern Denherter has contributed a great deal to what we're doing defensively. And uh, well, That's so. one of the positions uh, you had talked about, that you need uh, improvement. Right, and, and then, of course, that way. And Jim Dunaway has given us a lot of steady football as a uh, defensive tackle opposite Manny Fernandez. And Stanfield and, of course, Manny are proven defensive football players. But uh, it is a, uh, a different front four than what we've had for the past couple of years. And... Uh, I just hope that we continue to improve and, and uh, come up and uh, meet the uh, big challenges when they're presented to us.